We are given some details on the stock of company PQR and an option on the stock. We are told that the current price of the stock denoted by S0 equals 100 and in six months time with the risk neutral probability Q the stock price could go up to SU which equals 150 or with the risk neutral probability 1 minus Q the stock price could go down to SD which equals 50. A call option on the stock of company PQR has strike price of 110 and has six months or 0.5 years to maturity. The discount rate we're given is 5% and we'll assume this is continuously compounded. Question is, what is the value of Q, the risk neutral probability of stock price going up and the price of this call option? So we know that the payoff of a call option is just the maximum of the terminal stock price or the stock price at maturity of the option minus the strike price or zero. This is also often written as the terminal stock price minus the strike price with a superscript plus. So the price of this option equals the expected payoff discounted at the risk free rate over time period P. Let's first start by calculating the value of Q, which is the risk neutral probability of stock price going up. We know from tutorials that Q equals the current stock price compounded at the risk free rate over time period T minus SD, which is the stock price in downstate divided by SU, which is the stock price in upstate, minus SD again, which is the stock price in downstate. Since we know the values of these parameters, let's calculate the value of Q. Q equals the current stock price growing at the risk-free rate of 5% over 0.5 years, minus SD, which equals 50, all this divided by the stock price in upstate, which equals 150, minus the stock price in downstate, which equals 50. And this equals 0 0.525. So the risk neutral probability of stock price going up in six months is 0 0.525. Now that we know the value of Q, which is the risk neutral probability of stock price going up, let's calculate the payoff of this option in each state. If the stock price goes up to 150, the call option will be in the money as 150 is greater than the strike price of 110. And based on this payoff function, the payoff of this option is 150 minus 110, which is 40. On the other hand, if the stock price goes down to 50, the option is out of money as stock price is less than the strike price. And in that case, the payoff is zero. So the expected option payoff equals the payoff of the option if the stock price goes up times the probability that the stock price will go up, and we just calculated it to be 0 0.525, plus the payoff of the option if the stock price goes down, which is zero, times the probability that the stock price will go down. And this equals 21. So the expected option payoff is 21, and we know that the price of the option is just the expected payoff discounted at the risk free rate. Therefore, the price of the option equals 21 discounted at the rate of 5% over six months or 0.5 years. And this equals 20.5. So the price of this call option is 20.5. 
If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.